An Abbotsford man is recovering in hospital after undergoing a medical procedure that he claims he had to fight for. Daniel Crinbull had requested a do not resuscitate order, but he says a gray area in BC's medical system nearly took that right away. CTV's Rangan Hasegawa explains. All I want is the same rights as everyone else. Daniel Crimble says his history of mental illness is hindering him from getting medical treatment. Uh, nobody tries to fix the problem. They just sort of label you and, and move you along. Doctors believe he has a clot in his heart, but need an angiogram to be sure. I, I informed him that uh, procedures like that, I was uh, do not resuscitate. Because he's already living with painful chronic conditions, he's apprehensive about his health. But he says doctors told him a DNR would make him ineligible for an angiogram. They have specifically told me that it's age related. I'm of age to make my own choices and I'm sound mind. Fraser Health says doctors can decline to perform a procedure they feel is too risky. Anytime a catheter goes up to the heart, it can tickle the heart, trigger a cardiac arrest. Putting surgeons in an ethical and legal dilemma. It would be considered a breach of, of a medical practice to, if you've caused a complication and you can fix it easily, not to fix it. Crimble says he was faced with an ultimatum. Give up or go home. CTV News reached out to the health authority and hours later, Crimble says a doctor at Royal Columbian Hospital agreed to a code one DNR. No intubation or chest compressions. Why do you have to give up human rights in order to seek proper health care? He's asking Fraser Health to review its policy so no one has to fight for something like this again. Reagan Asagawa, CTV News, Abbotsford.